Hey guys, today we'll be looking at the all new quarter size arcade Pac-Man by Numskull. That is right, the good folks at Numskull have brought us a official Pac-Man arcade machine measuring at 16.9 to inches tall, making it an exact quarter size replica of the original 1980s version. Now everything on it is fully realistic from the buttons to the shape to the wooden shell are of all precise replicas. Now it's made out of a high quality durable feel and uses the original arcade ROM making it a very nostalgic value also known as a collector's value as well. So in this episode here we'll be unboxing it, taking a closer look at it as well as trying it out. Now if you wanted your very own be sure to check out the link down below in the description. Now this video is sponsored by MyWiFi.tv, the best live TV application available for Android, OS X, iOS, and Windows. Check out their website now by clicking the link down below. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So this here is our box and overall it's got a very nice, almost like a peeling kind of presence to it. It does say collector's edition in gold on the top here. You have the traditional Pac-Man style uh, artwork on the side here and it says Pac-Man, kind of talks about more in terms of details, what's included, etc. <laughs> So on the top here, we have a certificate saying that this thing is an official Pac-Man product. So very nice, so let's go and set that to the side. So before we even get to the machine, uh, I see we have ourselves a coin. Now this here is a collector's edition coin that's included with the machine, uh, resembling Pac-Man of course. You do see the whole Pac-Man game engraved into it. It's got a nice, nice feel to it and pretty heavy too. <laughs> wow, that is insanely awesome. Uh, so you got that screen, you got the Pac-Man logo on the top here, you got the joystick, you got the two buttons, you got even a coin slot on the bottom here where you can insert coins as well. Now, I have to say it does weigh a good amount and in terms of the size wise goes, it's about mm, that high right there. So on the back here, we have ourselves a power button. Uh, we have ourselves a USB port, so we'll go ahead and charge it, as previously mentioned. You have a volume control, so you just go ahead and dial it. Uh, you have some speaker ports here on the back. I do see that it's made out of wood. It looks like it's got like five different layers. Uh, on the top here, it says engineered by Bandai Namco. Uh, and you know, overall, definitely seems like a very nice show quality piece that you can just go ahead and lay about. All right, so let's go ahead and play this really quick. So there's an on off button on the back. So I'm gonna turn that on next. And hey, Pac-Man starting. So we'll go ahead and turn this on. Right now we have zero credits. So we're gonna go ahead and click on a button right here. This will go ahead and put a quarter in there. <laughs> and now we have one credit, two credits, three credits, four credits, five credits, six credits, seven credits, eight, etc. All right, anyways, let's go ahead and play one player. Let's start. <laughs> So the response on this thing is a literally amazing. I mean, as you're playing it, you can see and feel the full blast of the game itself. Now, the quality of the screen, I'm gonna have to say it's a very, very detailed. You don't see any delay at all. And in terms of the ROM that they chose, I have to say they picked a very good one. Uh, it's very smooth, there's no kind of hesitation or any kind of glitches from what I'm seeing so far. And even the screen display, uh, it has this nice concave kind of feel to it. Kind of giving you the uh, the feel of almost like a classic arcade machine. Now, uh, a lot of the newer modern machines will be just like a flat screen, and it does lack that whole appearance. Uh, and I really like how they kind of demonstrate it. Even the top portion here lights up too, so they really did a good job with this. Um, and in terms of the response rate, as soon as I barely touch the joystick, it'll respond almost simultaneously and it's really spot on. Uh, I have to say it's definitely a very nice high quality piece. The colors on it are so, so vibrant and it makes a great showpiece for anybody who's into the whole retro field and loves Pac-Man or just likes having an arcade machine around. Uh, this one here is a great tabletop piece and makes a great showpiece nonetheless. 
And yeah, there you guys have it. Now I hope this kind of gives you an idea of what this Pac-Man machine's about. And thank you once again to Numskull for sending this over. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And with that being said, we'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.